Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So for today's lesson ng pag-aaralan natin ay ang basic operations on integers. So here, we are now going to solve for an equation involving different operations ng integers. So halo-halo na to, merong magkakasamang addition, subtraction, multiplication, and or division. Let us now start by giving examples. So I have here five examples na ating sasagutan. Then if you have papers at home, you can join me solving these uh, examples, okay? Equations para mas uh, makita natin kung tama ba yung ginagawa natin or mali. Okay? So let us now start. So first we have here 3 plus negative 7 plus 2. So let me rewrite this on our bigger whiteboard. So this is now our first example. So ang una natin gagawin is to add... 3 plus negative 7. So, dahil this is positive number and this is a negative number, we will subtract 3 and 7. So, 7 minus 3, that is equal to 4. Okay? Di ba kapag magkaiba ng sign, this is positive and this is negative, ang ginagawa natin ay sinasubtract. Okay? And then, copy the sign of the number with the greater value. So, ano bang mas mataas? Number 3 or number 7? Mas mataas ang counting number na 7. So, ano ba yung sign ng 7 dito? That is negative. Okay? So, 3 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 4 plus 2. Ito yun, yung naiwan natin. So, now, let us add negative 4 plus 2. So, magkaiba ulit sila ng sign. This is negative. At si 2 ay positive. Tandaan, kapag walang sign ang number, that indicates a positive number. So, negative 2 plus positive 2. So, magkaiba ng sign, we will subtract. So, 4 minus 2, that is equal to 2. And then, copy the sign of the number with the greater value. So, anong mas mataas? Number 4 or number 2? Mas mataas ang number 4 kesa sa 2. So, ano ba ang sign dito ng 4? So, that is negative. So, our answer here is negative 2. Okay, so I hope you're trying this on your papers at home para mas ma-practice natin yung skills natin sa basic operations on integers. Second example here is negative 5 minus 2 plus negative 1. So let us now solve negative 5 minus 2 plus negative 1. So para mas maintindihan natin o kapag subtraction yung nakita natin dito na number, Okay, lagyan natin ng parenthesis para mahiwalay natin ang numbers operation. So, paghiwalayin natin, no? Yan. So, this is negative 5 minus 2 or positive 2 plus negative 1. Okay, so naalala sa operation ng subtraction of integers. Kapag subtraction, we need to change the sign of the subtrahend. So, this is positive 2. So, kung ito ay positive 2, anong kabaligtara ng positive 2? That is negative 2. Okay, so this will become negative and then proceed to addition. And then copy negative 5. Okay, so negative 5 plus negative 2, they both are negative. So like sign sila, pareho ng signs. So kapag pareho ng signs, we add the number. So 5 plus 2 is 7 and then copy their sign, negative. So ito may naiwan pa tayo dito na plus negative 1. Okay, so since pareho ulit sila ng sign na negative, we will again add the numbers. So, 7 plus 1, that is 8, and copy their sign, which is negative. So, our answer here for number 2 is negative 8. So, our next example here is negative 6 divided by 2 plus negative 5. So, you can try this at home, ha? Try nyo mo ng sagutan bago, natin, bago nyo po tingnan yung tamang sagot dito sa ating solution. So, negative 6 divided by 2 plus negative 5. So, division. This is negative, this is positive. So, division and multiplication, kapag magkaiba ng sign, automatic, the answer is always negative. Kapag pareho sila ng sign, the answer is always positive. So, here we have a negative number and a positive number. Magkaiba sila ng sign. So, the answer here is negative. So, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Plus negative 5. Okay, nilalagyan natin ng parenthesis okay, to separate the operation from the signs. Okay, para mapaghiwalay natin yung operation kung plus, minus, multiplication, or division doon sa sign ng ating number. 
So, now let us proceed to addition. So, since pareho sila ng signs, like signs sila, parehong negative, we will add 3 plus 5. So, that is 8. And then, copy their sign. Okay? So, our answer for number 3 is negative 8. So, I hope you're getting the correct answer. Our fourth example we have here, 3 or positive 3 times negative 3 plus 4 minus 7. So, again, kapag walang operation, sa magkatabing number, ibig sabihin that indicates multiplication. Kapag nakaparentesis sila, ibig sabihin that is multiplication. So, again, ha, try this at home para ma-practice ninyo kung tama bang inyong sagot. So, we now have here negative, uh, positive 3 times negative 3 plus 4 minus 7. Okay, so, by the way, kapag halo-halo ang operations, just follow GEMDAS. We have lesson on that, lesson video on that. So, addition and subtraction, pwedeng mauna kahit sino doon, kung sino yung mauuna from left to right. So, from here, nauna si addition tapos subtraction. So, mauna natin gagawin mamaya ang addition bago subtraction. Pero kung nauna ang subtraction tapos addition, then nuunahin natin si subtraction. Kung sino yung mauunang operation from left going to right. Same goes with multiplication and division. Okay? So, kung sino yung mauna na operation sa left side kay multiplication or division, yun po yung una natin isosolve. Okay? So, let us now solve this one. So, neg uh, positive 3 times negative 3. So, again, same with division. This is a positive number and this is a negative number. Kapag magkaiba ng operation, the answer is always negative. Okay? So, 3 times 3, that is 9. Okay? Negative 9. Then, copy na natin yung mga isosolve pa natin. Okay? So, negative 9 plus 4 minus 7. Okay, so lagyan natin ng parenthesis to separate the uh, op operation from the sign. Okay, so negative 9 plus 4, unahin natin to negative 9 plus 4. Okay, magkaiba ng sign, this is a negative number and this is a positive number. Pag magkaiba ng number, we subtract. Okay, so 9 minus 4, that is 5. And then copy the sign of the number with the greater value. Ano ba mas mataas? Counting number 9 or counting number 4? Di ba mas mataas pag nagbilang tayo ang 9? So, ano ba yung sign ng 9? This is negative. So, the answer here is negative 5. Okay, next, bring down 7. Okay, negative 5 minus 7. So, again, I encourage you, kung medyo nalilito kayo sa subtraction, lagyan nyo lagi ng parenthesis. Okay, para mahiwalay ang ating uh, integer sa operation. So, dahil may parenthesis to, ibig sabihin, 7 here is a positive number. Tama? So, lagyan nyo ng sign na positive para hindi malito. So, again, sa subtraction, we need to get the opposite of positive 7 and that is negative. Okay, so positive, magiging negative and then proceed to addition. So, this becomes negative 5 plus negative 7. Okay? So, magkapareho silang negative. Okay? Magkaparehong negative. So, we will add the number 5 plus 7. That is 12. Ano po yung sign nila? Negative. Pareho. So, we will just copy them. Okay? So, our final answer for equation number 4 is negative 12. So, again, class, when we're solving um, any mathematical problem, Okay, always box your final answer, okay? Para ma-indicate na kahit na gaano karaming numbers mayroon dyan, yung nakabox yung ating pinakatamang sagot. Last but not the least example, we have here negative 8 plus negative 2 times negative 7 times 1 minus 4. So, let us solve for this. Okay, so again, let us just follow Jemda. So, we have here tatlong multiplication, isang addition, isang subtraction. So, jam does now ng multiplication. So, we will first multiply these three numbers. So, negative 2 times negative 7. Pareho silang negative. So, the answer is positive. 2 times 7, that is 14. Okay, next, let us multiply by 1. Ito. So, positive 14 times 1. So, 1 here is a positive number. So, that gives us positive 14 pa rin. Then, let us bring down all the unused operation and numbers. So, we have here minus 4, 
we have here minus 8, oh, negative 8, and then the plus sign. Okay, so let us now proceed. So we have here negative 8 plus positive 14 minus 4. So let us first add negative 8 and positive 14. Rules of addition, magkaiba sila ng sign. This is negative, this is positive. So subtract. Okay, so 8 minus 14. So, 8 minus 14 gives us the answer 6. And then, ano yung sign ng 6? That is positive. Bakit? Kasi, ano ba mas mataas? Pag nagbilang 8 or 14, mas mataas ang 14. Ano ang sign ng 14? Positive. So, copy the positive here. Minus 4. Okay? So, again, kung nalilito pa rin kayo sa subtraction, lagyan nyo lagi ng parenthesis. Okay? Para hindi kayo nagkakamali. So, this is positive 4. So, si positive ay magiging negative and then proceed to addition. Okay, so rewrite plus negative 4 and then positive 6. So, positive 6 plus negative 4, magkaiba ng sign. Okay, so we will subtract 6 and 4. The answer is 2. Ano yung sign? Positive. Bakit positive? Pag nagbilang, anong mas mataas? 4 or 6? ba 6? So, ano yung sign ni 6? Positive. So, the answer here is positive 2. Okay, so thank you so much class for listening. I hope mas na-enhance ang ating skills on how to solve for the basic operations involving integers. Thank you so much!